The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, out of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly equipped unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Romans 10, 9 to 10, verse 9 says that, If you shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and shalt believe in thine heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Verse 10, For the Scripture saith, Whoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Romans 8, 38, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 28, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. John 10, verse 10, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Sa dili pa kita magkapadayon sa itong pagtuon sa pulong sa Diyos, di ni Adlawa, we have to use the principle of 1 John 1.9. Aron dili kini mahimong babag kini mga sala nga atong nabuhat ni Adlawa gikinahanglan ang atong pagsugid niya ngadto sa tubangan sa Dios nga mahan kay ang recovery technique or the rebound technique mao ang gikinahanglan atong paggamiton we have to apply it this principle first John 1:9 nga ingon if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Panalan ka ni Mohigala na wala pa'y kaluwasan diya sa imong kalag. Gikinahangla ng imong paggamit sa imong free will and make the most important decision that you can make in your entire life. Stibuok mo kinabuhi. Kini ang labing manong danong desisyon. Ang desisyon sa pagduo, pagdawat, kang ginoong Iso Kristo ingon nga imong manluluwas. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts 16.31 Busa, sa hilo magandam tas tong kaugalingon. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity once again of studying your word. Salamat nga imo kami gidala pag-usab ning dapita o Dios. Kini grasya ang tanan nga naglihok sa among kinabuhi. Grasya nga imo pa kami gipabuhi. Imo pa kami gidala ning maong dapit to be uh, able to continue in our spiritual momentum. Salamat ni ning adlawa. Dili kami takos nga magapahimulos ni ning imong grasya. Apan gumikan kay ikaw nagamatino manon magayon sa imong mga saad nga ni kanamo. Musa kami naga tuman lamang sa imong mando. Salamat ni among Bible study pinagi sa YouTube ubo sa Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry. Kining tanan, among ipasalamatan sa ngalan ni Ginoong Iso Kristo. 
Amen. Well, may adlaw sa tanan na itong mga igala. Welcome now, sub. Yan yung atong Bible study. Kanin yung mga subscribers, mga igsuon diya ni Kristo, uh, di abi-abi no sa mong tanan. Welcome. Aniya pa kita magadupot sa atong tunanan nga giuluhag the real meaning of life ang matuod yung kaulugan sa kinabuhi. Kaya padayon kita sa atong gibiyaan kagahapon o ga, kitang mga magtutuo uh, gikinahanglan nga atong tunaan kini ng mga puntos doktrina aron ati kadugang kini sa napundo na diya sa atong kalag. Okay, kagahapon nagisgot kita o uh, may tumod ni ining uh, divine peace ang kalinaw Nagi, uh, ang pulong uh, grigo diya mao ang uh, irene so when can or where can we acquire peace ang pulong sa Diyos na gayon, it is the peace that Christ gives us believers mao ragyod kini ang atong matang sa kalipay na itong gikinang lang matagamtaman. Now, John 16.33 na gayon, These things I have spoken to you so that in me you may have peace. Philippians 4.7 And the peace of God which surpasseth all um, understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Niya diya sa kulusas 3.15 na kayong unusap. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Ang rule diya uh, sa Bisaya, gi huban na ito ka na upag hari or pahariya. Rule, okay? It means to control the activity of someone based presumably upon correct judgment and decision. Mau ka nang magpasabot sa rule. Rule paghari. Okay? Now, Colossians 3.15 again. It's ito. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful. So, may mga versikulo naghisgo to kalinaw ni Kristo. Juan 14.27, Peace of Christ. Juan 16.33, Peace of Christ. Peace. Now, kining maong matang sekali na ang atong isgutan, peace can only be acquired from the Word of God. You can the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2.16, We have the mind of Christ. O kining maong kalinaw is a volitional benefit. If we have happiness, we also have peace, right? Na ay contentment through it. Pinagin niya na, na tayo pagka-contento. Kung sa mga versikulo naghis ko ito, contento. Philippians 4.11. Kung sa isulti niya, contentment. Ang 2 Thessalonians 3.16, naging ono sabi, Now the Lord of peace himself Give you peace, always, by all means. The Lord be with you all. Ako malikon. 2 Thessalonians 3.16 Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace, always, by all means. The Lord be with you all. Now, sa diha nga atong masinati, once we possess this happiness and peace, Regardless of circumstances, ma kaharuhay ba o kapakiasan ba kung sa we start enjoying the personal sense of destiny. Okay, so mo ka ng matang sa kalipay nuntan pag yun sa kalinaw. Now, in our Christian life, by the way. We we are to apply the various biblical principles. Gikinangla ng atupagamit 
sa nakalalain ng mga biblical ng mga prinsipyo. To be able to learn and get more acquainted with God every day sa atong uh, kalibutan ng pagkinamuhi. Ikinanglan. Morning, mga gyoy ka ng undang ni atong pagtuon sa pulo sa Diyos. And that is the process to grow spiritually. Why lain? Now, Second Peter 3.18, But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To make God's Word and God Himself real to our life, kining maong prosiso, kining maong pamahagi, is what is necessary that we go through. That's why we should always ask ourselves this question. What is running my life? Or what is my number one priority in life? Karon, unsa man yun ang nagauna na pasiuna sa kinabuhi karon. The right answer should be Bible doctrine. Mao ginay hustog tukma nga tubag. Pulong sa Dios gyud ang gikinang lang pasiuna sa akong kinabuhi. Remember the principle what you prioritize in life is what runs your life, correct? Now, you see, apart from uh, all this, ang mga katawahan karong mga panahon are getting more hedonistic. Iba ko ka na yun sa ibu pa sa mga hedonistic. To be hedonistic is to be a person kansang uh, pasiuna and uh, who just seeks for entertainments, mga kahilayan mga kalipayon, earthly pleasures in the devil's world. Mga kani ang pagka-hedonistic. Mga na may mga tao yun. Mga ilang pangita, mga ilang pasiuna, mga ilang unag yun nilang uh, gitagad ang, ang ilang pagpangita yung mga kahilayan, earthly pleasures in the devil's world. Now, Kung sa'y gitawag, uh, sa'y gisulti di 2 Corinto 5, 7, We live by faith, not by sight. Okay? Nagalakaw kita, nagakinabuhin, nagpanagawi kita, pinaagi sa pagtuo, dili sa unsay at makita. Kaya kita mga Kristuhanon, gimanduan to seek those that cannot be seen. Because they are eternal. Ang kantong din makita mo ay hangtod na sa kangturan. Mo ay dayo na. Not those that can be seen since they are temporal. Temporaryo ra sila. Lumalabay ra sila. O bagang duot sa mga katawahan karong panahon na would say, to see is to believe. Now, they would believe through what is perceived by the five senses of man. Unsa may mga five senses of man? Sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of smell, sense of taste, or sense of touch. Now, mauni, pinagi lang ninining maong mga senses na uh, mo inatuuhan. Pinagi sa ilang na gamit ni ini. Gining maong mga senses of man. So, ang balik ta sa Kulusas 3.15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Peace, Irene. State of freedom from war in ha? Kining Irene. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. Kanang peace di ha gisugutan. Irene, this kind of peace is not an option, but it is a command. Mando yun. Hinomdumi ka that you are now a believer and that you are mandated. Gimanduan ka sa pag panag-iyanin ng maong kalinaw. Which 
uh, is being mentioned in Colossians 3.15. Niya ko sabi sa John 14.27, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. 2 Thessalonians 3.16 Now, may the Lord of peace himself continually grant you peace in every circumstance. The Lord be with you all. Na. O niya, ayaw kalimot. Dias Pilipos 4.11 Naghisgot ka ng mga versikulo sa pagkakontento. Contentment. Yung contentment is a virtue. Now, not that I speak from want, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I am. Uh, well, may mugi mong ipadayon ka ng versikulo 12 diha. Now, we believers can have this kind of peace which surpasses all understanding. Now, 2 Corinthians 8.9 Now, naga padayo na kong hatag ka ni mong mga versikulo. 2 Corinthians 8.9 For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though He was rich, yet for your sake He became poor, so that you, through His poverty, might become rich. Now, kining peace diha hmm? uh, is God's grace provision. Iyan ang pagsangkap. Uh, kanang grasya kining pagsangkap. Grace provision. Now, these things that we are talking about, kining peace, kining grasya, etc. Mao kini ang gitawag na to volitional benefits. Okay? Volitional benefits. So, Colossians 3.15 again, na, na maka matikod ka nga itong ibalik-balik ini. Subli-subli na ito ni Og ka ng kutlo kining maong mga versikulo. Colossians 3.15 Let the peace of Christ rule paharia in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. John 16.33 these things I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. Ephesians 4.4 4. There is one body and one spirit, just as also you were called in one hope of your calling. John 6.44 no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. Abinimo, dili na to ma kanang unsa ba ibinse nga to invite imong imbitahon dili na ibinse ang imbitahon imong uh, kana uh, dapiton okay may kaninong duman nato so dili nato ma kana uh, dapit si Gino si Kristo sa atong kasing-kasing now remember this ha we cannot invite Christ into our heart nga no tungod kay ang atong kasing-kasing puno kini sa paglingla or deceitful above all things, as what the Bible says. Abrihid ya sa imong Biblia ang Jeremiah 17:9. So, sayup, sayup kining imong kanang dapitun sa ginoo si Kristo diya sa imong kalag, dili. In fact, wa gyud diya sa pulong sa Dios nga kanang dapita, dili. Kaya ang saan mo niyo mong pagdapit sa'yo mo kasing kasi nga naman na si Remias 17 o ibi. Tungod kaya nga itong kalag. I mean kasing kasing puno kini sa paglingla. Full of deceit. 
or deceitful above all things. What am I mo niya na? Si ang aturo yung tuhuan kanang naaduha sa gilatid niya sa pulong sa Diyos. Okay, John 1.12. Ang saga nito na ginabasa. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name. Now, if you are a Christian, remember, nga ang Diyos ana ay tuyo sa imong kinabuhi. Ano yan ang ginikalimti? Inom dumi yun eh. Kaya ikaw, Kristuhano na, ang Diyos na ay tuyo sa mong kinabuhi. And once you know His purpose for your life, be guided by His Word. By studying it on a daily basis. Daily basis. Ayaw ginag ka ng kalimti. Markahi yun sila. Badli sila. Now we have to study God's Word on a daily basis. Ephesians 1, 3 and 11. Christians have obtained an inheritance. Na! Kining inheritance, mga panurundon, special blessings kini, in heavenly places in Christ. John 6, 35. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger. And he who believes in me will never thirst. Now, once my book is about that, what does this mean? This means that once we believe in Christ, luas kita. We are given eternal life. Besides, we have physical life. Kaya buhi kita physical o gipabuhi no sa bangatong unsa ang atong tawhan ng espiritu. Gi in living, energized, o ga mga kanang na nilihuk no sa it's in living. Also, Christ said, "Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God." Bread, kining bread is physical food. Every word na pulong sa Dios kana. Si Cristo mismo nagayon. Come to me, all ye who are weary, weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Kaning rest diha ang gisultan. I will give you rest. Mo ni kita wago faith rest life. An sa bot sa bot. Kinabuhi kini nga nagdala og uh, kining pagtuo I mean pagtuo kining uh, nagdala, nagdala og unsa uh, pahulay you see kina panginabuhi kini nga nagdala og pahulay pagtuo ni maong matang sa pagkinabuhi the faithless life now John 7 37, naging on, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Verse 38, He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. 39, But this he spoke of the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. So, akong balik ko na itong Matthew 11.28, ang satwigyan. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The faith rest life. Of course, coming to Christ is volitional. Di ba? I mo maning kapilian mo kanang budo all ba kang Kristo o dili? It is God who invites us, not inviting Christ into our heart. Binalin na, okay? So coming to Christ is volitional. You have to come to Christ. It is God who invites us. Dili kita 
ang mo dapit ngan ni sa atong kasikasing dili binali lagi na remember Jeremiah 79 our heart is deceitful above all things na maling lahon kini nga atong kasikasing ya mo God says what he means and he means what he says we need to understand what the Bible really means ikinahanglan nga atong samtun unsay gisulti diya sa Biblia we should remember one thing we are not saved because we accepted but we are saved because of our faith due to God's grace now inum dumi po ni bear in mind God's word says in Ephesians 1 I mean Ephesians 2 8 and 9 we have been saved by grace through faith that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest anyone should boast nya dia pasa pinadaya 412 neither is there salvation on any other under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved first corinthians 12:13 for by one, by one spirit we were all baptized into one body whether Jews or Greeks whether slaves or free and we were all made to drink of one spirit Colossians 3:15 let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful. Now, kanang rule, pahariya. Kanang you were called, kanang called is eklektos. The call of God is classified into two. The first call, a call to accept salvation. And second call, to election as a believer. Kasambot ka? From there, as an elected one, ang Dios nagasangkap niya ng magtutuo, matag magtutuo, o ispirituhanon ng mga kasangkapan. Spiritual assets, God's riches in heavenly places, every opportunity and privilege, portfolio kini sa invisible assets, escrow blessings, and a lot more. Kita mo? Labihan na gana. Ngayon, pungutan na. Pungutan na ako nimo. Are you making use of these things? Or just ignoring them? It's a matter of choice. Si? Pai mostly. Apan di man. Makapugos ang Diyos nimo. Si? It's a matter of choice. Kining one body din he. Nag hulagway kini that as a believer we have a part of it to play either as pastor teacher either as evangelist etc naman sa episo 4 11 ngadto sa 13 so diman ya second peter 3:18 no sa to but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ mo nang episo 51 nagaingon b uh, therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. Maawaton ka mo. 1 Corinthians 12, 13, For by one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Greeks. Now, magpabilin kiting dakong pangutana. The big question remains. Did you answer God's call? Ay ang pagdapit. Hindi mo bang itubag? Misanong ka ba? Again, it is a matter of choice. We know that once we answer God's call, hmm, sa dihang atong uh, tubagon, o musanong kita sa tawag sa Diyos by believing in Christ as Savior, mahimo kitang mga sakop sa harian ng panimalay sa Diyos. One body with equal privilege and equal opportunity. 
Colossians 1.18, He, concerning He, the Lord Jesus Christ, is also head of the body. Siya ang ulo, pangulo, sa maong lawas. The church, maong lawas. And he is, he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that He Himself will come to have first place in everything. Now, tinood nga, every believer is part of the body of Christ. Tinood yun. Bahay na kita sa lawas ni Kristo. Matag sakop has his own function in the body. And each member is important. Di man nina. May nung danon yun ang matag sakop ni ining mga lawas. Not one is insignificant in every function. Every role of every member is very important and significant. Now, John 7:37. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Verse 38. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. Verse 39. But this he spoke of the Spirit, whom those who believed in Him were to receive. For the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Kitang mga magtutuo, paminaw, kitang mga magtutuo were called from darkness to light. Itawag ta. Gikan sa kangit-ngit, nandito na sa kahayag. Inumdumi ang Juan 8.12 then Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Nah. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. Now, following. It means faith in Christ. Nah. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness. follows diha. Following. Pagtuo ka na kang gino'y sa Kristo. That's faith in Christ. Matthew 5.14 You are the light of the world. A city set on a hell. Oh no, I mean hill. It's I-L-L. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Verse 15 Nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket but on the Lamb stand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Verse 16, let your light shine before men. Na, in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So, Colossians 3.15 again, kita ni mo, nagbalik-balik na tanini, Subli, subli, nini. Colossians 3.15, there are a lot of biblical principles that we can learn as we continue to take in Bible doctrine every day. Sa dihang kita magtuon, spolo sa Diyos, we do it verse by verse from its original language. Gani, we do it through the eyes method. Ako ka nagi. Uh, patin ako kanimun sa ibot pasabot nining eyes method. I, I sa gogical. C, categorical. E, exegetical. And this is the only way to be able to grow up spiritually. We study Bible doctrine. Atong gitunan ang pulong sa Diyos. Huwag ang nagkalanlay mga rasyonal nini. The various rationales behind it. O mao, nga buot sa Diyos, nga kini magatuyok-tuyok na diya sa atong panimot. It should circulate now in the stream of our consciousness. Bahay na ni sa atong kalag. Kahit iya mo na, mao kini ang huna-huna ni Ginoong Isokristo. 1 Corinthians 2.16 ka na. God's Word is the mind of Christ. Kitang mga magtutuo, gimanduan, to give thanks, hmm? to give thanks 
in everything. Yeah, okay, they had Roma uh, size 17 at 18. Verse 17. But thanks be to God that though you were slaves of sin, you be, etc. Verse 18, and having been freed from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. Na, episodos otsopod, you have been saved by grace through faith. You see, naluwas ka mo, pinaga sa grasya, o naluwas ka mo sa grasya, pinagi sa pagtuo. Colossians 1.12, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Inom doon ba mo niyong inheritance ng itong giisgutan? Panolong doon, kining maong inheritance din he is technically our rewards in eternity. Ato na ni mga ganti. Oh, God has provided this to us in antecedent grace. Antecedent. God is the one who gives us the gift of salvation. Of course. Ang Diyos, manigata ka na ito, nining gasa. Gasa manig kaluwasan. Huwag ang Diyos naga sangkap ka na ito sa tanan na itong mga panginahanglan. Matod ba? According to His riches. Now, Bantay kining pulo nga qualified as. Diha sa Colossians 1.12. This qualification, by the way, kining pagka-qualified na ito only happens at the point of salvation. Kasabot ka? Anara na ito. Masinati kining maong qualification. The next qualification for believers is To be able to share in the inheritance of the saints in light, mao sa diha nga atong makabot na, makatungtong na tanya ng ang ang sa katakos sa pagdawat sa mga ganti dito sa eternidad. Question: Ano siya may buto sa buto ni ni marvelous light? What do you mean by this? To bag This is part of the believer's qualification. Ang tanang mga magtutuo, gitawag o mga onsa, binalaan. Saints. Tiyan mo na. Salmo 119-105 Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Diyan sa bagong tugon in the New Testament, sa 2 Corinthians 4.6, nag-aingon kini, For God who said, Light shall shine out of darkness, is the one who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Apan dito sa Old Testament, da ang pag-isaad, sa Genesis 1.3, nag-aingon kini, Then God said, Let there be light. Iba mo nag-isulti sa Diyos. So, balik na putas ko lo sa 3.15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Peace ay rin eh. Ang rule, pahari ah. Diyan sa inyong mga kasing-kasing. Believers have acquired this peace. Di, kano sa? At the point of salvation. Yan, tawag yung higa yun. Mamihimok ang desisyon sa pagtuo kang ginoong iso Kristo. Na imo kining maong kalinaw. From there, believers continue to take in Bible doctrine. Aron sa inyo niya, sila mutubo. Ang ilang kalag mutubo. Diyan sa grasya kay balok ang ginoong iso Kristo. Segundo Pedro, 3.18 Well, last time naghisgot naghisgot ng itabahin sa kanang kahayag. Okay? We talk about light. 
Remember when our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world? Siya man mismo nagsulti niya. Ingon nga mga magtutuo, ang atong ginoong Iso Kristo, miingon, ngarhi ka na to. You are supposed to be the reflector of this light. No na. O this light is eternal life. Yes, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2. The earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. Verse 3. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, kining nagingon ug let there be light. This talks about plurality. Now, diha sa versikulo dos, mao kining itawag og restoration, paga uh, kanang uh, pagbalik o ino nato pagbago, restoration, restoration done and performed by God the Holy Spirit. Siya ang nagabuhat nini. Now, verse 3, the God who said, let there be light, is the same God. Moragyan pong Diyos, who restores our soul at the moment of salvation. Kinihapon. You see? Uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 6, For God who said, let our light shall shine out of darkness, is the one who has shown in our hearts. Matthew 5.16 Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Now, everything is visible at the light. Ma Makanang dayang. Visible and the light. Ephesians 5.13 But all things become visible. Now, John 3, 20 to 21. And verse 20, the king on. For everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come to the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. Verse 21. But he who practices the truth comes to the light, so that his deeds may be manifested as having been wrought in God. Now, okay. Atong dugang nagpahisgot bahin sa kahayag. Let's talk more about this. In Psalms 119 105, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. There is a verse 106. Kini naga patinaw how to acquire this light. It says, I have sworn and I will confirm it that I will keep your righteous ordinances. Now, you can read, ikaw mismo magbasa diya sa versikulo 107 nga ito sa 110. Diya sa 107, I am exceedingly afflicted. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Verse 108, O accept, niya verse 09, My life is continually in my hand. Kaning life di ang isugutan, physical na. Okay? Tauhan nung kinabuhi. Verse 110, He, uh, the wicked have laid a snare for me. Kaning wicked, ni people testing ni. Okay? People testing. Principle. Ay, kalimot na yung principle. In the midst of trials in life, you have no problem. Nanuman. Because God has all the solution to your problems. Stop. 
kining solusyon sa ni is the light. Nakita ba ni mo na? Kung balik ko ng prinsipyo, in the midst of trans at taliwa sa mga pagsulay sa kinabuhi, wa kay suliran. Nga no? Tungod kay ang Diyos. Anaa ka niya ang tanang mga kasulbaran sa imong mga suliran. Hinom doon pa ba ka sa itong 10 problem solving devices? Na, I hope wala ni mong makalimti. This is the light solution kini ang mga solusyon sa itong mga suliran mo kini ang kahayag na inumdum pa pagkasala ang prinsipyo nga itong sige din hiyo mal mal di ani mo nga human solution is no solution only divine solution is the real genuine solution gusto so ayaw na lagi na kalimti tawan on ganyan mga solusyon di magsilbi Dili ganit solusyon. Ang iya harang solusyon sa Diyos, may tinuod, matuod nga solusyon. Verse 111. Yan ang iapong Salmo, ha? 119. Uh, verse 111, I have inherited your testimonies forever, for they are the joy of my heart. Verse 112, I have inclined my heart to perform uh, your statutes forever, even to the end. Okay? Now, balik na puntas ko lo sa stress kinse. Kita ni mo ni? No, balik, balik ta. Okay. Colossians 3.15, let the peace of Christ Rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Peace, Irene. Rule, Paharia. Inumdumi ang napulo ka mga kasulbaran sa atong mga suliran. Nagisangkap sa Diyos ka na ito. God's ten problem-solving devices. Now, Episo 1.3 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Nakining every spiritual blessing to all, by the way. Naghisgot ni o portfolio of invisible assets. O ga kining maong mga spiritualong Pandalangin, bahin kini sa grasya nga pagsangkap sa Diyos alang sa matang magtutuo. Kaya binimo, ito na pong malingkon tong definition sa Christian way of life. <laughs> Gipresyom na ito nga na sel-sel ginanimo, di na ginanimo makalimtan. The Christian way of life is a supernatural way of life. And as such, It demands a supernatural way of execution. Second Corinthians five seven. We live by faith, not by sight. Now, kasagaran sa kana mga epistula, mga sulat ni Pablo, itawag na sa English ug Pauline epistles, Corinthians, Ephesians, Thessalonians, etc. Kini sila emphasize living by faith, not by sight. Nga naman. Because we know what happened to Paul on his Damascus way. He was struck by, by God by making him on sa nabuta si Pablo. Okay? Now, it was sight. That's the focus din he. So live by faith, not by sight. Second Corinthians five seven. Now, Hebrews eleven one. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Colossians one twelve. Give thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share 
in the inheritance of the saints in light. Tahayag. Tahayag o kalimti. Salmo 119, 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Light. Yapon. Na, kita ni mo. Kahayag. Verse 106, I have sworn and I will confirm it that I will keep your righteous ordinances. Now, verse 107. But ayon nga po. I am exceedingly afflicted. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Verse 108. O accept the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord. Now, kidding. Sunod nga versikulo. Verse 109 says, My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. Verse 110, The wicked have I laid a snare for me, yet I have not gone astray from your precepts. Verse 111, I have inherited your testimonies forever, for they are the joy of my heart. Verse 112, I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever, even to the end. Na diha, diha na tapos po ang iyang ang maong bersikulo. At doon ang ipadayon sa paghisgot o ba? At doon ang gihapon kita sa Kulusas 3.15 na itong paghisgotan kining bahin ni Irene o Kalinaw. Magampo ta. The scripture declares God in this manner loved the world that He gave His only born Son That anyone believing in Him may not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Jesus Christ went to the cross. He died for the sins of the human race. He removed the barrier between man and God so that man can step across into eternal life by trusting in Christ as Savior. And therefore, Sant Nagalingkod Kadiha Karon Nining Higayuna Nadi Nimungi Piyo ang iyong mga mata. To assure you of privacy, you have the option right now sa iyong paghimo sa labing may nung danong desisyon sa tibok mong kinabuhi. Ang desisyon that would bring you everlasting life. Deliverance from the wrath of God to come, the lake of fire. By believing in Christ. Becoming a member of the royal family of God. Having righteousness imputed to your permanent you, permanently di animo, and that is the decision to trust in Christ as your Savior, to believe that He died on the cross for your sins. That the only thing that you have to do to get eternal life, and that is the only thing that you can do to get eternal life. You cannot do anything else. So. Agig tubag sa pangutan na, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? In tubag, mi balik dahil ng tubag, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The way to eternal life is faith in Christ. Therefore, tumuo ka kang ginoong Isus o ikaw maluas. Father, we are indeed grateful for the privilege of studying your word so briefly. We ask that you will open our hearts to these things, increase our perception and our comprehension of them. Salamat. Nining among Bible study through the YouTube ubo sa Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry. Kining tanan among ipasalamatan sa ngalan ni Ginoong Iso Kristo. Amen.